Alrighty, folks, we're up at our first stop. And yep. This is a. Hopefully, it's a good pick. Let's see. I'm not going to take this because I can already see that some of the pieces are broken and um, well people don't like to take or buy these things when they're broken like this so I'm just going to try to neatly place these on the side not make too much noise coming nope All right, yeah. yeah this is the deal breaker right here let's take a quick look make sure there's nothing that we need in here Now the only thing is that I'm not seeing any charger. There's a battery, but that thing's big enough to we can find we can find a charger later for that guy. So. This really limits what we could do today. Unless we pick this guy up in here. Alright. Nice pick. Alright guys, well welcome to the one and only Texan Picker Channel, guys. And that is a heck of a way to start off the morning. Um, my name's Juan, and I'll be your host for today. I'm the Texan Picker. Um, it's six o'clock in the morning. I usually don't do morning or day picks, but I told myself last night if I wake up early enough, I didn't want to set an alarm, but I said if I wake up early enough, I'll get out and start driving around. Well, I woke up early enough. I felt like something thumped me in the foot. <laughs> What's funny? And I went ahead and got up and started driving around. And my wife woke up and she said that she had a dream that she was picking up jewelry from the side of the road and didn't know why. And I was like, it's time for me to go. So here we are. That's not jewelry, but we just started. Let's see if we can find something else good this morning.
Yeah, I'm not gonna take those clothes, guys. They were in a bunch of other, uh, other garbage, and uh, it's not that stuff stinks. So, no go. Saw a couple boxes over here. Let's see, that is garbage. This one looks all empty, but that's actually a nice cassette tape, uh, cassette deck. Hopefully, it's not ruined by this water, this humidity out here right now. So I'll put it here for now. I don't think there's anything else. No. People have been buying games lately, so I'm gonna give this guy a try. But, man, I don't know about this fruit bowl. It's all broken up. All right, Legos. And I like this tin. Check out these old games. This is cool. Let's see. need the headphones they're broken anyways 
Well, we'll keep them. Last thing I want to look. Shit, I'm gonna rip this bag open. Let's see what's in here. much of anything we'll see what that is old glasses This guy in here. Oh, guys. I don't feel like picking up Christmas stuff. Maybe the Santa. Just because he's cool. Does that go with him? I don't know. Santa. <laughs> Too much noise. Yeah. This is Rocky. All right. Well, what a terrible night. Some, some clothes. You mind if I take these clothes? She didn't say anything. Okay. Right. She likes she's freaked out, so I'm going to get out of here. She looked a little bit nervous, so I went ahead and took off. Um, that other bag looked like it had mostly hangers and other stuff. And isn't that a beautiful sun sunrise? Dang, that looks nice. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so this lady just offered me a bunch of stuff. We're gonna see what she's got. What was that? They're what? Oh, no, no, I'll get him. Thank you. All right, so this lady had noticed that I had a camera, and she asked me not to record her because she didn't have her makeup on. <laughs> so, you know, I stopped recording when I come back, and I didn't film anymore. Shut it off. 
All right, so that lady politely asked me if I uh, wouldn't film her anymore, which uh, she kind of did it tongue in cheek, says, oh, don't film me, I don't have any makeup on. Very sweet lady. And uh, she gave me a lot of stuff. I've got the back of the truck full of really nice uh, framed artwork. Um, it's, I say artwork, it's mostly print, but it's really nice print. Um, she gave me this bag full of purses. And um, I've got a bag back there, she said, full of uh, new shoes and coach purses. So she goes, does that make you happy? And I was like, uh, yes, it does. Thank you very much. So, man, uh, it wasn't jewelry that I found today and the day's still young, but what a great find. Um, I just happened to slow down because I saw uh, that shark vacuum and I was looking at it. I was like, mm, I don't know if I want to get it. And she came out and says, do you want this stuff? Yes, thank you so much. So, man, I can't wait to go through these bags. Um, I gave her a card in case she has anything else she wants to get rid of. And I told her about my YouTube channel and she seemed pretty cool about it. So that was a good score. I wish I wish she would let me record, but she asked me to, to not record it. So, you know, when people ask me not to record, I do shut it down. And I, I don't, I don't want to be rude. So let's keep on going. Some totes, pioneer speakers. I don't know about those speakers. The cables. Man, you got all these tied up though. No. Okay, I think I'll take these. What this does, this connects wirelessly to the main receiver, and then you can hook up these speakers there in the back. So, I'll put this guy up front. What kind of stuff is in here, though? That's why I look in bags. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's all trash. Um, yeah, I guess I'll take these. some stuff all right so we made it home guys um, I'm glad 
whatever thumped me in that toad this morning to wake up, I did so because, man, we found some good stuff, and I can't wait to go through everything with you. Uh, there's some stuff that I don't know what it, how good it is because it was those bags of, uh, I think she said shoes and purses, so we'll go through that to see what's in there. Um, I'll probably do that last because I've got other stuff I need to get out the truck first, and then we'll go through that good stuff at the end. Sorry to make your way, but you know how these videos are. I'll make your way to the end to get to the good stuff, but I promise you we are going to get to it right now. All right, so there is the Barbie Power Wheels. Pretty good condition. <clears throat> Needs to be wiped up, but other than that, it does have enough juice to. You have reached your destination. Do that, but not enough. Like I'll press the pop thing here. The wheels barely turn, but I didn't see a charger for it. This is the battery. So I don't know how you would charge this thing. I'll have to look to see how you charge it, and uh, maybe I have a charger for it already. Don't see anything under here. I'll have to look, do a little more investigation. Here is the Yamaha cassette deck. These cassette decks are actually going for some decent money nowadays, so that was a nice little score there. And also found that set of Panasonic wireless speakers. Uh, we'll plug those up, make sure they work. Um, I don't see why they wouldn't. Found these two totes. Oh yeah. So I'll have to go through these clothes, see what was in them. Alright, had to do a quick wardrobe change because it's getting warm out here. So let's go through um put through this back first. Look like at a bunch of clothes in here, like I thought. Some stuff on the bottom. But I don't know, I guess it's like a little kid's jewelry. What is this? Yeah, junk. Look at this. Abercrombie Fitch. Six eight bucks still with the tag. Coldwater Creek. All nice clothes. <laughs> Look at that. It's kind of cute. So Not seen anything else spectacular. Some more fake little jewelry. But, but there's fake, there might be real. Yeah, more of this. I don't know, this is like, um, this is like Indian. I don't know if it's Muslim, Hindu, or whatever, but it's that type of design. It's a little kid's jewelry. We'll have to see if those clothes go for anything, because it might be worth some money. Let's see, here's another little baby vest or something. Making a bad impression. You'll be on the film or what? Huh? 
You gonna be on the video or what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, something that I got off screen that you guys didn't see. Um, it was just this little bucket sitting out by um, a trash can. I'm not sure if that's vintage or not. It looks like it is. Not too bad on the inside. I'll have to look, I'll have to look this up. Pig out on popcorn. So, thought that was cool. If it's not vintage, I mean, someone still might like it. All right. See what else we got. All right, gonna move on to a bunch of the little small stuff that we found. I did. I don't like Christmas decorations, but I do like Santa Clauses because they sell real fast. And I got this guy here. Um, I'll plug it in. I'll plug it in here in just a minute. Let's see if it works. Um, got this little guy here too. This guy looks like he's vintage. Um, just looking at his face, looks very vintage. Don't see any numbers on him. I'll have to do some research on this guy to see. If y'all know anything about this guy or anything else that I find, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know in the comment section if you recognize what this is value anything i'm always open to any kind of advice or information but he looks like he's vintage just by the color face uh he came in this little box looks like a chimney found a bunch of various um oh hold on i got a buddy of mine coming to the house right now some of these old games called take five not sure if it's complete looks like it might be so got that one, got this deluxe Uno game. Uh, don't look like it's complete, but I've got another Uno game upstairs. And uh, if those cards are missing, I might put them together and make a complete set. Cause I know, I know the cards are missing on the one upstairs. Pick up this book just cause I don't know if I'll be able to sell it or not. Folk Tales from India. I think that was pretty cool. Looks to be kind of old. Let's see. Nineteen seventy-eight. So yeah, that's old. I like this tin. It had a bunch of um, Legos in it. Nothing special, but I do like the tin. Morrow's Nut House. Kind of neat. Uh, Trivial Pursuit. I'll have to check that out to see if it's complete. That's that. We had this guy here. I don't know what it is. Digital film and slide converter. Oh yeah, it's a converter for digital film and slide. Uh, we'll see what the deal is with that. If it's complete or not, and see if we can sell it. An old, like a Walkman stereo cassette player. I'll get batteries. The back came off. I'm not sure if it came off when it was in the truck, so I'll look in there and see if it find the back. But if not, um, you can still sell it like that. I think this is the mailbox. Is this the mailbox? No, I'm not gonna. This is the people's last name, so I'm not gonna be able to use this. I'll just chunk this. Um, what I really liked out of this little stack right here were these old pennants. Got an old Washington Redskins NFL pennant. An old 1984 LA Raiders pennant. New England Patriots. Miami Dolphins. LA Lakers. This one's really cool. I'm not a fan, but I like the way that one looks. Chicago Bears. And of course, Houston Astros. Can't ever go wrong with those. And here's Houston Astros Western Division Champion from 1986. St. Louis Cardinals. And NCAA Final Four pennant. That's pretty cool from 1990. Really cool stuff. So, what we have left is a good stuff. Got these couple bags full of goodies. I can already see there's a bunch of purses in there. But before we go through that, let me finish off over here. 
the lady was beyond gracious to give me all this really really nice stuff these really nice mirrors and what's crazy is that this was going to go in the trash nice mirrors got that piece of wall decor there got these two they're the same got that small one here it's a beautiful painting right here of a hummingbird glass frame picture signed there at the bottom these are from the home store it used to be called Gar garden ridge i think it used to be called but these are really nice too they're kind of the same design i think these are all the same these are originally 129 so they're all the same All right, the moment you've been waiting for. Okay, so first off, um, she gave me these wire baskets. They look like they're purchased. I don't know if this is decoration or what. And see, it's almost hard to see. Oh, here we go. Can you see it now? It is like a wire mesh purse basket thingy. And it had a tag on it for a hundred bucks, wherever she got it from so crazy and also this little piece of home decor i'll give that to my wife if she likes it because it's kind of neat so let's keep this guy over here all right let's get on with the show let's see i'll do it this way so y'all can i can show it to you better so first, we got a bag within a bag, and we got another bag within a bag. So this is a Dunium Burke. I guess it's like a little coin purse. So that's in a little bit rough shape. So that might be something that I give to a niece or something. Then you got this one is also a Dunium Burke. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's in really good, clean condition. Really nice. That's that guy there. And the third bag within a bag. Uh, this is this is a coach. So here's the coaches that she was talking about. So nice looking coach bag. I would say be scale of one to ten, it's probably like a seven or an eight. Very good condition. Really nice. This guy is from TJ Maxx, so probably not a really good brand, Patricia Nash. I mean, not a bad brand, but it's got his little dust bag. So she never even used this one, and it's it's leather. It's real leather, so that's that's actually kind of nice. All right. Next, we've got a new day. I don't know. I never heard of that. Like another little coin bag or something I don't know next we have another coach purse this one here was used you could tell this one has a little bit of a you know dirt dirt dust not dirt dirt dust inside of it you know really good condition probably about a seven or eight out of ten also on this one this is real good Let's see here is a Michael Kors really nice bag this one looks to be in really good condition as well as you can see i mean these are really clean so i'm really liking this really good and the last bag in this batch is it the last bag no yeah it is it just has a bunch of like a dust bag and paper in here and this one's never been used so it's called a hobo never heard of this brand but that's that one still has the tags on it it says retail price 268 can you believe it look at that and it has a dust bag 
no box but that's okay and then you got this bag Stella and Dot I know Stella and Dot because I know their jewelry so here's a Stella and Dot like a beach bag or something let me see I am going to check these pockets because oh this is to make it expand or make it bigger so there's that let me get this put up and we'll go on to the next bag all right, before we get on to that, I did want to show you guys this. Did, she did give me this string lights, LED bulbs. About 20 bucks, I guess, for this box. So I might use these at the house. We'll see. And let's go on. This is the last box. Last bag. And let's see what kind of goodies are to be found here. So what do y'all think about the shoe well the shoes are in here i can feel the boxes what kind of shoes i don't know yet but so far those bags are pretty good and she said there were new coach purses and new shoes in here so i'm really anxious to see what's in here okay so here's the first box andrew geller Don't know if that's a good brand or not. But man, look at these shoes. These look like they're snake skin or something. There's a little bag. I guess these were her socks. <laughs> so, Andrew Geller. I'll have to look these up and for you know before y'all ask i know because no a lot of y'all ask me this these are used as you can see those ones are used but they are a size 8m 8m on those andrew gellers all right vanelli 160 dollars pair of shoes <laughs> All right. Oh, but she got them on sale for $60. These don't look like they were ever worn. These are made out of leather. These are good shoes right here. Vanelli's, also size 8M. Another nice pair of shoes. Let's see. Poor. Those are nice. These don't look like they've ever been worn. I think my wife might like those. I'll see if she likes them because I think she wears a size eight. Ah, these are seven and a half though. Rapports. Seven and a halves. Ooh, look at this here. What kind of boots do we have? Neolite? They feel like... Neolite. It doesn't have a tag on here, unfortunately. And I'm not seeing... Let me see this thing. Did she even wear these? Yeah, she wore the hell out of these. But they feel like real. Maybe they, they have that look like ostrich, but I'm not sure if they're real. They look like they're real. I'll have to check these out. But they're Neolite. Yeah, Neolite. Nice pair of boots. Let's see. Well, these are Isaac Mizrahi, I-M-N-Y-C. They're made in New York. Boots, you can see the other ones right there. And these are 
sevens size seven M. So we'll put those right here. I don't see any purses in here. I guess all the purses were over there. All right. Franco Sarto. Franco Sarto. These are size eights. Those are nice. Here's the other one. Reba. I guess Reba McIntyre makes shoes. Here's the other boot. They're like low cut boots. I guess shoes, western style boots, low cuts. These are a little bit more, more worn right here in the insides that all that stuff fell out. I don't see a size on these. I would imagine they're probably sevens, just like these other ones, maybe seven and a half. All right, moving on. Unisa, don't know what these are. Unisa. They're $45 though, size eights. I have another guest, I think. Here's another pair of $45 shoes. Soft with two Fs. And the last pair of shoes are Donald Pliner. Donald Pliner. Kind of worn looking. That's it. That is all the shoes. All right, guys. So there you have it. That is, uh, I'll say, a pretty good score, a pretty good pickup. I mean, considering that it was only for but maybe two and a half hours uh, in the morning because I didn't go drive around a whole neighborhood because I just don't have that much time because the trash comes by so early. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to hit like. Of course, y'all know to do that. If you made it this far, hit subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And also, guys, if you share the video and you like and you hit, you know, and you comment and all this stuff, it really, really helps me out. And I would extremely um, appreciate it. So, hope you guys do that. Um, I want to send you guys off with this. Um, I told y'all I'm going to do things a little different on the channel. Um, I feel like um, God's blessed me with this I guess this little niche that I got going on of picking up trash, finding things. Now I've got this great uh, channel with some of the most amazing uh, YouTube subscribers. And I could never imagine that 30,000 people and growing would sit down and watch my, my videos. Some of y'all hours on on hours and are extremely, I mean, I'm, I'm so appreciative of you guys that do that. So. Um, if you guys don't know, I am a man of faith. I do go to church um, and I do believe in prayer. So I just want to send this off and I'm going to do this every time uh, from here on out because I feel like I do give, you know, I do owe God a, a gratitude, you know, multiple, I mean, just a huge gratitude for, for everything that he does for us. So, uh, Lord, we just want to thank you for the blessings that you've bestowed on our lives, Father. We just want to thank you for all the amazing finds and for the people that you introduced into my life, Father. I just want to thank you, Lord for my, my subscribers, for these amazing people that have watched my videos, Father. Um, just thank you so much. I hope that you reached out and that you could bless each one of them in their own way, Father. You know their needs, Father, and you know what their wants are. I just ask you that you reach out and you bless these people, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time. Peace.